what's going on guys Captain Chunk back with another video so today's video is actually going to be a different video it's actually going to be a tutorial which you already probably know I haven't actually done it in a while so this tutorial is actually going to be a tutorial I actually did count myself months ago and the reason why I'm actually doing it is because there's been a couple of updates there's been a couple of changes therefore you guys needed updated version so first of all it's going to be the live transparent subscriber account in OBS for of course your streaming your videos whatever you use OBS for so first of all you want to download the latest version of OBS open broadcaster whatever you want to call it it can be OBS studio or OBS classic personally I use OBS studio as you see that it is version 20.0.1 so once you've got it all installed, you'll come out something similar to this. It may actually be black depending on what theme you've actually enabled itself. So first of all, you're going to want to make a new scene. I'm just going to call it stream. And then you're going to want to right click on source. And just to make it more understandable for you guys, I'm actually going to put my banner on. Uh, just to make it a little bit more stand out a little bit more professional for you guys streaming OBS and as you see there there's my banner guys the live subscriber subscriber and the sub goal so after you've done that you want to head over to the internet and you want to go on the live subscriber account you will of course want to find your channel so I'll find mine now captive chunk and as you see there, 8,916. You're going to want to copy the URL of that website. Now this is what actually changed throughout that other video. You want to right click on sources, click add, and you want to click on browser source. Now you used the app to actually install this plugin separately, but now it's actually connected within the OBS install itself. So no messing about just install OBS and you will already have the plugin itself so you want to click on browser source call it live sub you don't necessarily have to call it that you can call it anything you want just call it something so you obviously know to navigate through one another you want to click OK and then where it says URL you want to delete that and you want to paste your link in there and as you see the URL at uh, the uh, live subscribe account is on the screen however that looks really really messy you don't want something like that on your screen like that looks really messy right so let's fix that you want to right click on live sub you want to click on filters and you want to click add and you want to click on crop pad just just call it that and then this is going to be different for everybody depending on if you've got lesser subs or more subs you want to just mess around with it as you see it cuts off the side 300 that's too much 260 uh, that's a little bit too much 240 that's just right for that side for the left side top 300 that's a bit too much 230 a bit too much 220 now 210 should do it fine yeah 210 does it fine so the follow right you're probably going to want the same as the thingy which is correct for bottom again that's going to be a little bit different than what the other one was 210 should no 230 no 250 let's try 250 260 and final 270 yeah that looks that looks fine to me so now to obviously remove the background to actually make the live subscribe account transparent you are going to want to also right click again and click on color key now what's this what's this going to do is it's going to actually identify the background color and allow you to remove it basically like how a green screen works and stuff like that now you want to click on key color type and you want to click on custom color select color and then pick screen color and you just want to drag this little mouse over to here click OK and as you see it removes the background perfectly well now there's all other kinds of things you can mess around with here there's contrast it doesn't really change much it just makes it stand out a little bit better as you see uh, but yeah once you've done that you can close that and if you've got a banner like mine you can 
resize that and just put it like that like so so just to show you that it's actually a live subscriber account I'm actually going to go over to my phone and I'm going to subscribe and unsubscribe right, and I've clicked unsubscribe now so I should lose a subscriber there you go you can see it on the screen I'm going to subscribe and I'm going to gain a subscribe back so as you see there guys that is how to install the live transparent live subscribe account onto your OBS for your streams to make your streams look hell of a lot better or including your videos now for the sub goal you just put that as in as a text file so say uh, I didn't really want to include this into this video but you know what why not so as you see we're on 8916 let's make the sub goal 8000 920 that looks fine Obvious, of course you know you want to mess around get the right font for you let's actually just change the color to a nice delish color so you can actually see it within the background itself obviously you're going to want to mess around with the fonts to make sure you know you can kind of get them as similar as possibly can and yeah basically guys that is actually on how to do it now with these with the browser source what you use to add in the live subscriber account there's actually a hell of a lot more stuff you can do you can add transparent uh, social media links you can add all kinds of stuff so i definitely recommend you going like in depth on searching on stuff you can install with browser source as that will definitely improve the quality of your streams and improvement there's always room for improvement guys so if you do happen to enjoy this tutorial and it did help you out in any way, please smash that thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe. Please hit that subscribe button. And you guys, that has been the video for today. If you do like it, please smash that thumbs up. I just said that twice. Hell no, dog. But yeah, guys, that is me. I'm out and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.